I just thought I'd show you a new loaf of bread I just baked today. What I did was went into um, Save On Foods. I purchased a frozen loaf of bread and cut it into four pieces. And this is the first one I cooked. I cut a slot in the top or a slit, put some butter in there. Oh, it's nice and hot right now. Let me take it out of the... Oh, hang on. Man, it's hot. There we go. Look at that. Ooh. I, I'm sure it's done. Oh, wow. It's hot. It's ever nice. Ha <laughs> ha. I've got to have some of this. So it's swelled up. Uh, you can see by my hand size. Hang on. My hand. So it's small loaf. I cut in four. And let me get the other three out of the fridge to show you what I've got here, how they're coming along. Now I've just placed these in where they put the loaf when I bought it. It was uh, just one loaf about... This is where I bought my... Uh, frozen loaf they just put it in a container but I cut it into four and each piece <sighs> okay I cut the lo the frozen loaf into four and each piece fit about this much in the pan and look how much it's swollen up that big so now what I'm going to do is cut some slots in the top of these things like so oh wow and I will put some butter in there and cook these for an, about an hour on low here what I've got. Well, it, this, the one I finished was about an hour. So I might be releasing some air that's in there, especially this one here. But look at this. Look at the one that's done. <laughs> oh, man. Let me cut into this. Okay, I guess I could show you what, how they're set in the uh, pressure cooker. Down, I got two down in there on a little, on a metal plate like this, upside down. And then I took the little whistle thing on the top off and stuck them in there, get them off the bottom. So, let's close this up. Let's close this up and turn it on a low heat and we'll see what it's like in about an hour from now. Oh, beautiful. Okay, guys. Oh yeah, you sure can smell the bread cooking. Let's just see. I don't know if you can see the flame underneath there. Small flame. Let's open it up and see where we're at. Coming along, coming along nicely. Look at that. Oh yeah, okay. It's only been in there like 15 minutes, so. Let's leave it alone and see where we come out in another half an hour or so. Okay, I don't know if you can see how nice and golden these are. And hot, holy. Oh, and they come right out of the pan real easy. Wow, they come right out of the pan real easy. I'm sure they're done. Oh, they just, wow, they just fall right out of the pan. Holy. 
Now you can see by my hand how big they are. And I'm going to cut them in like five, six slices, I think. One side is nice and brown and the other side is not as brown. You can see there the two different. This look this looks on the camera undone yet, but it's it's not. When you look at that. Oh man, oh man. Are these gonna be good tonight? The silicone pans are still even hot. So let's put them in the pans <clears throat> and set them somewhere where they can cool down. Man, this, these are great loaves of bread. Home, well, I didn't make the dough. It, it, I, I bought frozen, frozen dough and just cut it into, I bought a, it was a round loaf, frozen round loaf. And I just uh, thawed it out, let it rise, put it in the uh, pressure cooker on top of the stove. The pressure cooker I have is... A stove top pressure cooker, not not electric. And then just turned it on for, I think it was less than an hour they were in there. And I'm going to make, I have one yet to go, and I'm going to cook it when I'm ready for uh, my beef stew that I'm going to make for tonight. Start that, and I'll show you that on video here too. Holy smokes. Okay, let me cut into this. We're going to get crumbs all over here, but that's okay. But let's just see how well done it is on the inside. Oh, 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 oh look at that. I don't have an oven. Oh, man. Is that ever nice? I've got to put some butter on and eat this piece, but what I did was uh, bake it in a uh, stovetop pressure cooker. I just took off, where is it here? What I did on my stovetop pressure cooker is I, I took the little uh, release thing here that whistles when you when it's done and I took the um, the band out so that it doesn't uh, ruin it and then put a, a plate on the inside a, uh, something to raise it off the bottom and then uh, cooked my little loaf of bread look at that and that's the size of it you can see by my hand like that wow <laughs> So let's try a little butter. I don't have a knife handy here. I should have some honey, but I think butter just for right now is good. Oh yeah. Okay, let's try this. Oh yeah. It is done. Ho ho! Now these loaves are going to be uh, one, two, three, four, four nice sized slices, or five. And then I have three more that are uncooked, ready to go, or unbaked. Is that good though? Holy smoke. Nice warm bread. And uh, it's weird. I don't smell it 
nice fresh bread like in the oven look at this one mmm mmm Now I'd like to make some um, beef stew tonight with carrots, potatoes, celery, you know, all the fixings there. And I've got some vegetable broth with wine in it, red wine. But I would like a nice hot loaf of bread then so I might cook or cook I might bake two more and save one for a little later maybe I'll cook this one here in the middle last but they were when I put them in these things maybe that big so if they swollen up this way and this one just covered the whole thing. Wow. So when I go for the supper tonight, I'll I'll video that too and show you that. Wow. Oh good. <laughs> there it is. I don't know if it's necessary to put the butter in the middle, but I did some cutting anyway beautiful okay let's bake another two